Hello all, welcome back to Trinity Software. This is Krista Baldaina. In this tutorial, let's see how to create animation using Matplotlib in Python. Matplotlib is a popular Python 2D plotting library. So with this library, we can easily generate plots, histograms, bar charts and scatter plots. We can also create animation with this Matplotlib using Funk Animation class of animation package. Let's create two basic examples for line plot animation in this video. I have already made a video about animation with Python TK Inter and for many more interesting Python videos, subscribe to my channel and also click the bell icon to get new video updates. Now let's get started. First, we need to install matplotlib using the command pip install matplotlib. Then all the necessary libraries should be imported, a figure should be created and then function should be defined and finally animation will be created. I have already installed matplotlib. Now I need to import the required models. I'll import random, then import matplotlib.pyplot for plotting. Then for creating animation from matplotlib.animation package import func animation class. Then we need to create the figure. We can make use of figure method of this pyplot. So I'll store the created figure and fig variable plot dot figure. It can have zero or more number of arguments. Here I just want to mention the figure size equal to 10 comma 5 that is width and height in inches. So the default width and height will be 6.4 and 4.8. Create two empty list. Okay, next we need to create the function. So it takes one argument. This argument will be the next value in the frames for animation. Inside the function, we need to create the chart and then the values that goes to the chart should be updated. To create the chart, plot x-axis and y-axis values. So let me first append values to the empty list x. So I am appending i. So starting from the frame number 1, it continues to get appended to the list x. Then in y, I am just going to append random values using random dot randint method that will be generating a random number from 0 to 50 okay in matplotlib many built-in styles are available in style package you can make use of any one of those styles by using plot dot style dot use in order to know the built-in styles you can use plot dot style dot available just import this then to list all the available styles plot dot style dot available so by default it will be classic you can go for any other options from this i will select ggplot ggplot then we need to plot the line chart plt dot plot x comma y so this will plot y versus x as line okay finally we have to create the animation by creating an object for func animation class ni equal to func animation First argument is the figure which we have created. Second argument is the function to be called. And third argument is the interval. It will be specified in terms of milliseconds. It decides the update rate. If you give a value of 1000 means that the figure will be updated for once every second. I will give a lesser value 300 milliseconds is fine. And you can just view this uh, plot by using plot.show method. Let's execute it. Okay, x axis you can see that it is moving because we have not fixed any stop value for x axis, so it moves on from frame number 1 and it continues. Whereas for y axis, the values will be from 0 to 50. So x axis is moving axis and y axis is fixed axis. Okay, this is a simple line animation using matplotlib. Now let's create animation with multiple lines. Okay, so these three import statements are occurred. Here we need to create a figure as well as axis. So the simplest and recommended way of creating a single figure and axis is by using subplots method. So it will return figure and a single axis. Plot dot subplots method can be empty or you can also mention the figure size 12 comma 5. 
Also, we can set the x-axis and y-axis view limits. For setting the x-axis view limit, set underscore xlim. The range is 0 to 300. And for y-axis, set underscore ylim minus 350 to 600. And also we can uh, set a title for this set underscore title multiple lines animation. Now we can make use of a built in style plot dot style dot use. Let me use seaborn hyphen white. Okay. You can also set the x axis and y axis label plot dot x label. Give any label. I just give x axis similarly plot dot y label y axis now we are going to create animation for multiple lines so for x axis we will have a list x then we are going to create four lines so it's going to be y1 y2 y3 y4 i'm going to create empty list for all these things so totally five empty list are created to fill the data for x list, I will make use of x underscore data with values from 0, 300, 3. It means start from 0 till 300 with a step count of 3. Then we need to have 4 list for y1, y2, y3 and y4. We use list l1, l2, l3 and l4. So let me use list comprehension with some random values using randint to introduce randomness in the animation. List comprehension random dot rand int in the range from minus 10 to 0. You can, and I'm just going to add it with i exponential 1.7 so that you will get some different exponential lines and then divide it by the random number around 10 and then the for i in range 0, 200, 2. So this will create a list of 100 elements okay similarly i'm going to create three more list so i have created three more list so for list l3 and l4 subtracted these values to make it as a negative exponential slope okay now we are just trying to create different exponential lines so that the data looks natural now we need to define animate function animate of i Inside this function, let's append values to all these five lists x, y1, y2, y3, and y4. Initially, we'll append to x. So, we'll append this x underscore data of i. This i represents the frame number. Similarly, y1 dot append the list 1's elements. Similarly, for y2, y3, and y4. Okay. Now, for drawing plots, you can make use of access dot plot method access dot plot method x and y1 since we are going to plot for four lines i'll differentiate it with different colors first one can be red similarly different colors for second third and fourth lines okay now let's create the animation func animation first argument is the figure second argument is the function to be called and the third argument is the interval 100 then use one more keyword argument called frames it can be an integer or it can be a list also it can be none because in the previous example we didn't mention the frames in this example i mentioned in the frames it represents the number of frames you can stop the animation at certain point i want to stop at 100 because this list contains 100 elements the elements will be appended to this lines y1 y2 y3 y4 so I am fixing frames equal to 100 and when you are using this frames keyword argument make sure you are also using this repeat because by default it will be true but I want to change it to false. So repeat keyword argument means that whether the animation repeats when the sequence of frames is completed. So in this case I don't want it to get repeated when the sequence of frames is completed. So I have made repeat as false then call plot.show method to see the output. Let's execute it. So this is the multiple lines animation. You can see all the four lines. All the four exponential lines. The first two lines red and green are moving in the positive direction. Whereas orange and blue are moving in this 
negative direction and it stops at 300. Okay, so x axis and y axis label is given, multiplying animation is also created. Okay, also you can save this animation that is very simple and just put it in comment. To save this animation, we need to import pillow writer from animation, just import pillow writer also. Then you can save this animation ani dot save multiple lines dot gif and then it takes another keyword argument writer equal to pillow writer fps is 60 this is to save the animation in gif this gif file can be stored in the same path where you have written the code okay this is the path i have got this multiple lines gif file Okay, that's it about creating animation using Python Matplotlib. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, kindly share and subscribe.